Hi, it's Ari with Denison Yachting, and I'm here at Shulshol Marina in Seattle to show you the 2014 Velasco 43. Let's take a look. So just here we've got the Juno Velasco 43 True North. Uh, I actually kind of like this um, C-Wise Davit system. The nice thing about it is uh, when you're pulling into a slip, uh, the, the tender obviously tucks in a lot tighter than it would with an overhanging davit system. Plus, it enables you to have the whole swim platform free at all times. So great for docking, uh, you know, pulling in and out. And then um, you also have the self-mounting um, engine. So as the as the uh, Seawise Davit lowers the boat down, the engine just automatically lowers onto it, and you just put a quick pin in there, and you're all set. So it is a really great system. I do like this uh, Davit as uh, the dinghy as well. It's got an aluminum aluminum bottom, a little bit of discoloration on the seat. Aside from that, nice little AB with a uh, Honda. 20 on the back here. So this boat has not been listed yet. It's going to be coming online soon, so they haven't cleaned it up at all. Um, so yeah, T just needs to clean. There's nothing wrong with it. Actually, it looks like it's in good shape. Just a little clean would be perfect. And same with the boat in general. Just needs a little bit of a clean. Um, it's actually nice seeing it in this state before it gets all cleaned up just to see. Um, how it was kept in general. Um, you see the hull. Yeah, it's not terrible. Definitely could use a little, little bit of wax. Um, this this little thing right here is actually kind of neat. When you're at a high dock, there is a step for you to get it on and off the boat. Plus, it doubles up as a cover for your um, diesel tank um, fueling station there. Got a side door, which is great for. Uh, uh, docking single handed. Um, oh, good, we've got the Delta Dabber there. Let's uh, jump on board and check it out. Okay, jumping up on the aft deck. Um, you've got this uh, opening door here, which is great for uh, pets and kids. It keeps everyone secure. The nice high railing. Got good storage under there. Uh, BIB it says in the corner, which is a life raft storage. So if you are going offshore, this is where you would put a life raft. Uh, but if you're just cruising where this boat is, say from uh, around the Sound here up to Alaska, um, you're pretty good to just have that as storage. Uh, let's poke our head in here. I'll just open up, there's a really good storage spot in here as well. Yeah, just here we've got a little wash locker and storage area. We've got shore power, hoses, good stuff. And there is also a hot and cold shower there too. Uh, one thing to mention, the shore power cord is on a Glendenning. So nice and easy to get in and out. I love this bench seating here, it's great. I've got the hard wide, hard plumbed in uh, magma grill. That's pretty cool to see. Um, so you can see it's huge uh, glass door section and that opens up. So let's flip to it now and open it up. So as we walk in, you can see this boat is great for entertaining. Having a U-shaped settee area like this with another large bench seat opposing means it really is a great place for people to um, uh, to entertain and, and, and chat, being able to have that opposing seating area. We do have this table which opens up and that also slides over in the middle so you can have dining on this side as well as that side. And just here is a little push button. TV pops out. Cool. Now, underneath me is huge storage sections. We'll get 
back to that shortly. Let's move forward to the galley. Great storage throughout on this boat, really. Cuisinart, convection oven, two burner cooktop. Dual stainless sink. Really good storage throughout this one. Nice big Raymarine hybrid touch screen. Got the smart craft vessel control, electric gear, con gear controls, and um, quick bow and stern thruster. So very easy to dock this boat. Also got Lenco trim tabs there as well, and a Raymarine autopilot. Just underneath is the Raymarine VHF. And uh, you've got this door that we chatted about before. Great having, I mean, just for fresh air, for docking, nice and easy. Um, large sunbed area out forward as well. And you can see the de delta anchor up there. Let's head on down. The starboard aft, we have the guest cabin. It's two single berths there and there, and then a filler cushion to make it a queen. That's kind of versatile spot. Closet space. There is some storage underneath the berths as well. Just forward is the day head and guest head. Separate, quite large shower and head. It's an electric head as well. I, I do like them better than the back of your flash. And here we have the master cabin up forward. This is a huge uh, section with windows, so you get a lot of natural light in here. Obviously we have the cushions over it right now, um, but there is a blackout shade there or a fly screen, and then you can open this up. So if you're an anchor during the day, you can have this open, lots of natural light through here. You have a TV on the bulkhead. Great storage. Drawers underneath as well. Fusion stereo, that looks an updated actually. And similar head and shower in the master cabin as well. Nice little frosted glass skylight there. Let's jump in and have a look at the storage spaces. So just here, uh, here is like chargers, technical space. There is a little bit of storage in there, but it's more just technical space. Um, I've got some storage underneath there and a couple of shelves there. I'm going to jump on the other side and you can see a nice big splendid washer dryer. All in one unit. And that's it. Uh, the other storage area. Once again, huge space. Got little drawers in there. And this like continues all the way around and wraps around to the left. So it just keeps going. And here you have an additional for long, um, for long passages and that sort of thing. We have a deep freeze in here with deep freeze drawers. So really nice boat to, to have that as an option. Um, just behind these little hatches here that pop out got additional access to the engines on that one. This one is additional access to the generator for servicing to make it nice and easy. Um, and then you have the main access, which is there. So we'll jump into the main access now. Just here on the aft deck, I'm gonna jump into the main engine room access. You see the generator there. Um, 
You see it is on the forward part of the, the bulkhead here. Um, so it really is just made to be serviced from inside that storage area. We've got twin 380 horse Cummins. Engines. And uh, the ray cores there as well. Needs a little bit of clean, looks like something's leaked in the bilge there. A little bit of a clean up. Set of bilge actually looks good. Um, looks pretty good here. It could use just a good clean up. But as I said, you know, the boat has not been listed. You can see a bit of soundproofing is down here. Same on the port side. So it's pretty easy just to stick that back up. But just needs a good clean up. Um, and they will have it sorted once uh, once I get it listed but it's just kind of jumping the gun just to get on board and have a look looks good let's jump up top one thing to note before I close the hatch here this little ladder actually pops straight out so for servicing or getting between the engines you just uh, pull the pin on the ladder and you can get straight through some people actually don't even have the ladder in at all and then just use a, a step there e either way you can make it work and one other thing i did mention the deep freezer in the hatch here i forgot to show you guys the main refrigerator freezer so still a freezer in here and a little refrigerator as well so still have a good amount of refrigeration in the main cabin let's head on up to the flybridge. So decent size ladders and handle there. Huge sunbed area here with a shower next to it. Hot and cold. Raymarine radar. Storage underneath the seats here. And we've got a little wet bar an additional fridge freezer for drinks. So right now we're set up kind of for entertaining. When you're underway, to keep the captain company, pull this pin, this backrest just goes back so you can face forward and then turn the helm chair around and you're all good. You can also have a couple of people sitting there or use that as a footrest. Same controls and setup as below with the Ray Marine. Just up here, you also have an additional VHF. They've also got the ICOM up here. So you've got a Ray Marine and an ICOM up here. Let's just do a quick round of the uh, side decks here. So, on the gel coat, it looks like it's in good shape. Uh, actually, a little, little bit of crazing there, nothing too crazy. As I said, I think with a good uh, bath and wax, this thing will be really sharp. Got the storage and the anchor locker. Lumar windlass. I love these uh, portholes here, how they're kind of facing down. Really good for glare. your waste tank pump out. It is asymmetric, so port side's a little bit tighter than the starboard side. Looking good. And then uh, just have a look over here. We've got the um, city water outlet so if you want to connect to 
to dock water and pressurize the system without using the vessel's water pump, you can do that as well. And just above it, you can see this vessel is class B offshore rated for 12 people. And uh, inland we've got 14. Uh, you've also got a little uh, mount here. It's a Scotty, Scotty mount here with the uh, 12 volt there. They're all set up for fishing, looking good. You can just see here as well, vessel's got just over 600 hours. Thanks for coming on the tour today at the 2015 Genova Lasco True North. For further information or for an in-person tour, feel free to reach out to me, Ari Sher, anytime on 772-240-0888 or via email at ari at denisonyachting.com. See you on the water.